team coverage of the brush fire that threatened homes in the south suburbs. Let's begin with CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas. Roseanne. Well, Erica, all set police have issued an all clear, letting us know that the fire is under control and anyone who left their home can now return. But it was a challenging day, and firefighters say they will keep a watchful eye through the night. The flames and thick black smoke visible from Chopper 2 were dramatic. Fire officials say the first fire started just after 11 a.m. along a stretch of railroad tracks in Alsip, but in no time there were five fires within two miles. Between the wind conditions, the temperature, and humidity, everything is just right for the perfect brush fire. Through the afternoon, some fires crept near schools and neighborhoods. This woman spotted them as she was driving home. And the closer I got to home, the bigger and darker the flames were. I turned down my street and there were fire trucks everywhere. I'm in the third floor right there, so I can see everything that's going on back up in here. So yeah, it did make me a little nervous. Fire officials say the fires were stubborn, threatening power lines and damaging some property. Many of them were near businesses, so we have quite a bit of damage to vehicles. Um, trailers, we've had, uh, we had drums that were blowing up at the same time. And this area behind me, which you see a school in the background, this is where it was very smoky even last hour. But again, they say this is under control. No um, injuries in this fire. And we talked to one gentleman who owns AAA Snowplow. It sounds like he bore the brunt of the damage. He told me he lost a dump truck and a bobcat to the flames. Live in Alsip tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, thank you, Roseanne. Meteorologist Ed Kern continues our Team coverage of the Alsa brush fires. He's live with more on how the flames spread earlier today. Ed. And it's the red flag warning we told you about yesterday and again today. Look at the stats on the Mobile Weather Lab. 84 degrees, the relative humidity just 26%. It was even lower than that a little bit earlier. Let me move over this way. I'll give you an idea of what's going on here. We'll go through the sun and take a look at the smoke that's coming up in the background here. We keep seeing smoke and we keep seeing some rekindling around the area as well. As a matter of fact, in just the last 15 minutes areas along this creek which runs along the railroad track have rekindled and we've seen smoke coming up all along the creek here every now and then the fire raced through this area in fact I'm standing up part of the burnt ground this vegetation was burned earlier today as the fire moved up this small creek uh, it's a combination of low humidity strong winds gusting to 30 miles an hour or so and an abundance of fuel in the form of very dry vegetation. And also, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, thanks, Ed.